I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to Oh, hello, hello, hello How you guys doing today? You, you on the other side of the screen Are you there? Hey, today is an exciting day. We have a sunshine. There is some uh, Simpsons clouds over there. Cattle trucks, cows in here. We have a sheep in there. And we have our little triumph. I have taken the triumph today because um, I'm uh, in a bit of a hurry and we also have a quite a bit of a journey i think it's uh over 500 kilometers today and uh and i was working this morning and sorry for the noise um yeah i've been working this morning and then straight after lunch i'm heading out so uh, yeah and uh, the reason we are out is we are heading a slightly further afield it's a um, motorcycle run tomorrow by uh, Sulphur City Motorcycle Club uh, which is in none other than a lovely place in New Zealand called Rotorua um, I don't know if we're gonna have a time to look at it but um, there is lots of uh, volcanic activity which uh, it's pretty cool uh, it's an also place where there is lots of uh, things you can do. They call it the Ruta Vegas, like a little Vegas of... I don't know if they have any casinos, but uh, they certainly have uh, lots of activities. Zorbing and uh, you know, luges and I don't know, whatnot. Today we are heading over to a little place called Matamata, where uh, Hobbit was born. But there is... Maybe it wasn't, but uh, there is a big Hobbiton and uh, he lived there. I don't know anything about it. I've been here almost 20 years, but I know they are short and hairy. Uh, is it called Harry po Hobbit? No. Her <laughs> Her no. Harry Potter is not Hobbit, is it? Uh, something along those lines, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm heading to Matamata. I am going to sleep at in-laws. And then uh, tomorrow early morning we have another hour ride to Rotorua, uh, slightly coming back. Um, but yeah, this was easy just to head over and crash there. And tomorrow we will camp out somewhere, uh, maybe at the location of the of the run, or somewhere else. I have not decided yet. So um, yeah, let's journey away. I'll see you guys on the road. Oh, I just saw a coppers going ahead. Uh, maybe I'll give them time because I'll catch up to them and I don't want to. So, um, what else should I tell you? <laughs> Let them go, hopefully enough time that they disappear. Um, we are, where are we? In Woodville right now. But um, um, we're going to cross the saddle and uh, then go to the mountains. Uh, well, is what it is. Um, let's ride. See you cowlings and sheepies. I'll uh, see you on the road. Let's do it.
as it looks, the weather in Wairarapa um, lulls us into a full sense of spring. Ah, you forget that it's fucking winter still. And the weather turned and I'm already drenched. It was last three minutes, maybe five minutes of riding and uh, man, it's hosing down. Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna go into a petrol station, get a cup of coffee, and dry off a little, and then uh, get dressed proper. Um, I j when I stopped in the last time in Woodville, um, I uh, met a gentleman called Don on a quite nice Harley. So, hey Don, how are you doing? Uh, oh, look at it! Now it's coming down here, you could see the massive clouds up the hill. The mountain over there, it's in a total snow, uh, total whiteout. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get some cup of tea dry off and uh, get my wet weather gear on. I have also, after the last suggestion of the guys at the rally, I have bought waterproof socks from hunting and fishing. So I'll put the socks on as well. <sighs> okay, okay, let's warm up. I have my cup of tea, as well grey. The weather is not improving at all. It's pretty rough out there. Uh, it's gonna make it for a tough riding today. I still have another three hours to go or something along those lines. So uh, this might be a halfway point. We'll see it with improve later on. Oy. I won't be filming from now on. I thought I'll, excuse me. I thought I'll show you the uh, the snowy mountains, but. Uh, the camera will be um, all misty anyway through the lens, so yeah, I'd bug a bit. So, no filming, I'll, uh, I'll show you when I step. Alright, I'll have a cup of tea and uh, then get dressed. So look at this, where we came from. This road, it's called a desert highway. It uh, skirts around uh, the volcanoes, Manurapehu and Tongariro and Naruhoi. And uh, yeah, there is nothing in there, just ball sand, but the, the weather is usually pretty rough there. Uh, but as you can see, it all hangs out around the mountains. And uh, we were in kind of often in a nice weather and then you come here and it's just pouring down mist, horrible. And then you go back down into the lowlands and uh, look what's out there. That's where we headed to. So um, that's good news. I'm going to get my rain gear off and dry my jacket because it's wet. 
and uh, that's good. Um, so I'm gonna check the map which direction I have to go because I'm not sure whether I go. Era we are coming to a Lake Topo, and I can go to the right and stay on Stay Highway One, but it's really busy, lots of roadworks, and then if I don't want to. As you can see, there is a uh, sign to National Park. Uh, so I can uh, turn here and go the other way around, which I'll probably take. I'll just have to double check the map. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to undress, uh, have a leak, and uh, head up. And hopefully the weather won't shit itself, just like before. All right, see you in the road. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south, I'll be spreading out, call it word about, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud, you can never douse, know what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, jump like you can't stop me now. Okie dokie, we have about 80 kilometers to go today. My hands are pretty sore. Oh look, I just saw another copper today. He just pulled some somebody over. That car over there which we can't focus, it's too far away. You just see the lights on. I just saw a little fleshy, fleshy, fleshy. Oh, that's a fine. There was one the road we came. They are everywhere here, so watch out. Okay, my hand is pretty sore from riding. I'm not used to uh, long distances, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, finish this off. And uh, yeah, at least my jacket's dry. Okay, see ya. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so We made it to Matamata, six hours and over in the saddle uh, in a journey, I'm pretty sore and tired, uh, but we're here. This is uh, Harry's Harry Potter's Harry Potter Hobbit house. Uh, so uh, let's check if he's home. Harry, Harry, Hobbit, oh, nobody's home. Oh, they live underground. 
This must be just some kind of over the ground outpost. Never mind, hope it's uh, hidden. Okay, I'm gonna find the place where uh, my partner's parents are and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Well, hello, hello. Um, we are in a van. Not we are in a van. My in-laws put me up in a uh, their camper van. How fancy am I? Holy moly. This is luxury. All right. Um, today was pretty eventful. Uh, or not. It was a long ride. Long as I've done in ages. Um, it was fun. Uh, police were on a hunt. I've seen five of them today and each stopped someone. Uh, two weeks ago when uh, my nephew was here uh, at our place, we did uh, about within three hours, we did I think 50 kilometers up and down the road. We saw 12 police officers, men, women, whatever hunting. So they are out there. So um, watch out on the road. Um, yeah okay tomorrow will be exciting looking forward to the uh silver city uh ride um maybe i'll have a time to show you a little bit of rotorua too it'll be cool and um yeah thank you for being with me until now hopefully you'll continue watching tomorrow should be fun um okay uh good night and I will see you in the morning. See ya. Good morning, good morning. Here we are. Just gone on 6 a.m. Um, the weather looks clear. I really can say. Um, and we are about to, uh, yeah, have some breakfast, get ready and head out to Rotorua. It's, yeah, it's about a uh, one hour ride uh, this morning. And then we join the others. I'm going to have a, Nice brekkie with the um, in-laws and then uh, head out. All right, well, that was a bit chilly. I didn't really sleep. Well, I slept, but I was turning around all the time. The bed is quite short. Oh, you can't see there. But um, these guys are tall, like uh, Jeannie, she's 6'2", and uh, Tony is 6'5", 6'7". I'm only 6'2". How the hell did they sleep in these beds without legs sticking out? I don't know. I was kind of on diagonal. <laughs> uh, never mind. You know, they made it two years in this thing. So uh, good on them. Um, I am going to uh, get ready. I am... Uh, whoa! How can you see nothing? How do you do this? I don't know. I have one sock on. One sock, barefoot. <laughs> so very good rest. Okay, stop mumbling. Oh, I don't know what to say, so I just keep saying random things. Um, yeah. Okay. Can't wait to be on the road. All right. I'll see you. Can you see me? I'll see you soon. All right. Let's ride, guys. The weather's awesome. Upwards and onwards. See you in Rotorua. I just fueled up and I uh, came across these motorbikes, so uh, I joined them up. I thought they know where they're going, and uh, mm. yeah, let's just follow them and get to the uh, Sulphur City headquarters.
make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million mind games, but instead I say Something not illogical, something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go, make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible If you just believe, you could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through Alright folks, we are here at the rally That's exciting Sulphur City Sulphur City Motorcycle Club This is their uh, this is their uh, yearly annual run, I suppose, and uh, the bikes are still coming in. We'll do a little run through. There's some cool machines. I don't know how many people is here. Maybe 200 so far, and you just hear them uh, rolling over everywhere. It's a really nice place for a funky. Uh, area so uh, yeah let's have a little wonder and uh, see the bikes see some people let's check bike some more bike bikes here looks like we're gonna be camping over here somewhere on that grass and uh mate of mine scotty from the gold tv you guys met him he said he was up at four because there is roosters everywhere so, <laughs> so we'll see about the rooster problem uh, we'll see hey how you doing Definitely some nice rides. That's a mean, mean looking bike. <laughs> All right, uh, let's find some cup of tea, have a piddle, and uh, register, and then uh, we'll see if we really go for a ride. It might be a solid mayhem, but uh, we'll try to keep the rubber down and uh, don't uh, touch or hit anyone or do some naughty stuff. So because these guys are not slow, so uh, we'll see.
for more than 300 motorcycles arrived and uh, more still coming it should be fun this is a dice run i think they go from uh, different pubs and different places uh, and then each pub they do a throw of dice and uh, or you do it and the people who have uh, either the highest or lowest number you uh, at the end of it you um, win something and um, also we got a ticket our my ticket is 262 so is it the lucky number we'll shall see I don't know um, so yeah quite a few people um, it's been uh, quite fun to have a chat with some people I haven't met before and meet some new ones and um, some bikes are really neat these are uh, quite n nicely done this, uh, this machine with the bars and the springer I don't always like the springer on the new bikes but sometimes they can look really nice so um, yeah alright I'll we'll just wait for the right to peel off and, and I don't <laughs> Well, filming myself in front of people, it didn't get any easier, I can tell you that much. It's so weird and awkward, but hey, we'll do it.
Cheers. Na zdravie, hol. Very special Steinlager Stein alcohol free beer for only nine dollars. <laughs> Next time I'm, I'm drinking water. I can tell you that much. <laughs> But hey, you know. Sun still shining. So yeah, the ride was quite fun. It was quite nice and zippy. It's quite uh, fun to ride shoulder to shoulder with other bikers and just pay attention to every single move. On the way here I was thinking when I was riding in the morning that um, somewhere on some video I um, I've read or seen that um, a guy was coming to a corner and instead of kind of leaning and doing stuff he actually pushed into the handlebar um, so if you go into right corner with your right hand you push away from you and uh, that leans your bike way faster than you do anything so I was trying with uh, have you tried it how do you corner do you you know counter steer and all that stuff but I was trying like literally push the bar away from you in every corner and suddenly the bike just leans into it and that was pretty quick I'll, um, I'll have to practice that a little bit um, <laughs> might send me some tight calls um, that was just a thought right. yep. I heard over there is um, 300 bikes plus here so uh, pretty good turnout um, yeah I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but um, at the moment it's just nice to chill out in the sun. All right, let's finish this gold golden beer. I work hard for this. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll see you later. Get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad. I'm like, just a thought. You might be asking um, why I am always alone on these gatherings. I go to these places to ride with people and then I sit alone. As you can see, I'm just by myself. Well, here's an answer for you. Um, in my work, I sit with people all day, long day, from morning till night. And we talk and talk and talk and I feel like I have only certain amount of words in a week to use. So when it comes to my weekend, I'm pretty much spent. So when I go out, it's nice to ride with people, but we are in each other's, in, own, in our, well, not each other's, we are in our own helmets. So you kind of still on your own. And then when I go, I know, you know, I'm not saying I don't have friends. I have friends and I have people, but... I just kind of keep my talking to bare minimum really it's not like try to be unfriendly or anything it's just that I'm tired and I'm tired of conversing <laughs> so uh, yeah I hide myself and uh, I go to events where there's lots of people and then I stand in a corner quietly observing enjoying the sunshine so uh yeah nice to have a talk here and there um and meet some new people and all that but um yeah i enjoy time in my own head a little bit after a busy week all right <laughs> that's my that's my sunshine brooding in uh, rotorua It was a lunch stop over. Let's do a let's go for the next spin until the next stop.
Oh well, well. The last run, the last leg was a bit exciting. There were a uh, couple people, maybe even three, dropping off. Um, yeah, one guy hit the bank. Second guy uh, ran through a grass into a pond, through the pond, back on the grass and back on the road. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was a bit of a mayhem. It was pretty tight road, pretty windy. Um, yeah, I think we have one more let go and then we're heading back to uh, 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 back to the compound. Uh, uh, you can see I'm getting tired, it's 4 o'clock and we're still riding, we've been all day from 10 in the morning. So, um, yeah, lots of kilometers. And tomorrow we do another 500, 600 kilometers back home. That's the end of the uh, riding for today. I'm just gonna join these three souls in a tent. I'm gonna pitch my own. And then, um, I don't know, maybe I'll go have a look into town. Maybe don't, I don't know. We'll see what's happening here. Uh, if there is any feed here, we'll eat here. If uh, don't, don't. Um, yeah. So that was the uh, Sulphur City ride. Um, Tomorrow I'll head home slowly. Might take my time. Today was kind of pushing it, pushing the throttle all the time. And uh, not my, I enjoy it for a moment, but then uh, it comes to the point where I'm just tired to uh, keeping my eye on a wheel of a bike in front of me. It's fun to ride in such a formation, but you're just gonna have to have your wits about you and uh, watch every single move of every bike what's in front what's behind and uh yeah tomorrow i'll just um chill out i'll just take my time heading home and um yeah i'll be fine okay time to set up the tent all right my little tent's done join the tent brothers and the guys from the club prepared a beautiful honey uh can't wait to eat Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there are fuel vouchers sprinkled amongst all prizes. Mobile uh, up the road. Thank you. Anyway, fuel vouchers. Okay, just uh, get the next number. Brace yourselves. Did it? Did it? One eight three. That's a good holding size, mate. There. Um, not bad night. Love hearing the birds and uh, wildlife in the morning. It's so relaxing to sleep too. Mm. And um, yeah, 
Okay, time to get dressed. Pick up. Say goodbye and then um, head on the road. Yeah. I have um, I have bought a little battery pack. Um, it's called this. I don't know what was it. A thing called U Green or something. It has a. Uh, Yeah, a little pack. It has um, 2000 milliamp hours. So, uh, <laughs> when I watched web reviews, I think people call about MAH, like ma. It has that many mahas. I don't even know if they know what, uh, what they talk about. <laughs> but never mind, that's not their problem. That's my problem. Um, I like to know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, um, yeah, it charged my camera, my phone, and I'm on still 50% battery left, so um, that was pretty good. Um, okay, that's a nice kit I have acquired recently. Okay, let's stop talking. People are already out there. Having a, having a discussion. That was actually quite nice ambient noise for me to sleep to. <laughs> but it's almost 7 o'clock, so, uh, you know, better get on. Alright. Yeah. So we are packing up. Boys already on the way. My tent's empty. I was just having a little chuckle yesterday. Look at the tractor tracks. So we slept right on it. So that was the only joke that came out of my head was that um, uh, it's ripped for our pleasure. So that's what we slipped on. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm gonna start packing. See ya. Well, this is Rotorua town. And we're gonna bore you with a little walk spy town. Uh, I can't be bothered to walk through town. Just wanted to go and see the lake. That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't been here in ages, it would be nice to come here for a bit longer. They do lots of uh, running activities and um, yeah, there are big races here, like triathlons and things. And it's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I haven't been in ages in here. And you can, uh, by the looks of it, there is a couple biplanes or the water planes down there. I don't know if you can see over there between the poles. So I'm pretty sure you can do uh, lots of touristy trip, trips and doing things and yeah, I'm just gonna get some petrol and head home. I'll uh, stop in Topo for breakfast probably and then just come here. Alright, off I go. I can't help myself to not say it. But I just saw an electric Mustang. I just leave you with that. An electric Mustang. Where the world is coming to? <sighs> this is a statement to appreciate all that is vacant. It's just for the taking. If you make up your mind, you can take it. I'm never complacent. I would work in a mansion or basement, yeah. There's no replacement for persistence. It's a patience, yeah. In this life. I want to be soaring To feel sun inside when it's pouring And I'll fight till anxiety is boring I'm so sick of my mind's extortion My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just want to be crazy yeah, I just wanna be great. 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 Uh, so a little protest, which was cool, and um, 
Yeah, so four sparkles on a street, on the road, and uh, two of them pulled over one car, and um, unfortunately one motorcycle got pulled up. Um, yeah, they are everywhere. Today is Sunday, and I think it's the last day of school holiday, so the roads are pretty busy. So, um, sparkles are everywhere. Watch out! All right, let's ride. We are back in Woodville, but here comes the rain, here comes the rain. Alright, this is the last couple hours of the journey and it's time to get dressed because there we came from cloudy going to rain. So uh, get dressed and uh, let's test out these waterproof socks. <laughs> I will check in from home. I'm not gonna film anything more, so I'm just packing everything up and uh, I'll see you in the garage. Alright, see ya, let's get there. Alright, hello, hello, we are back in the garage. Bikes resting over there, she's in her uh, usual place. Uh, what a trip, did I have maybe 5,000... Maybe thirteen to fourteen hundred kilometers, almost thousand miles. Uh, not bad, not bad effort for a for a joint. Ah, uh, I'm tired. I need to lie down. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like it, you know, say good day. You know, do the usual stuff. Uh, thank you for thank you, Silver City Motorcycle Club. Did you know the next year they're going to have a fortieth anniversary so uh, they are planning a big event so um, yeah thank you guys for uh, for a good thing yesterday it was good fun uh, hungry for dinner was really nice and um, yeah until uh, the next one I suppose I'm gonna wrap it up quick I uh, I need to go and rest up <laughs> all right um, I'll see you guys next time and uh, be good and behave. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pad. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap, only got one, so you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pad. Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that Someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back 
I'm sick of being cautious. I'ma go cause something, can't stop this. I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift. Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless. Taste the pain, it's like candy canes. It makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name. Society's insane, we all live for fame. Yeah. Cash in the bag, city in the pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Do it, no cap. Only God wants you, better go live it up. Cash in the bag, city in the pack. Baby,